Yeah. Only more could see this teacher. It's like you could be faggots, lesbians, who's transgender, a whole LGBTQ. I don't know what the fuck the Q stand for now. But I hear somebody say LGBTQ. I don't know I don't know what the Q stand for. But they the wine of the rat as she fornication. The wicked wine of democracy. And all nations drink her. In the Middle East women now walking with the hair uncovered. China. China Chinese women now. The 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 uncovered, the hair, the the the, the, the I believe there's Edomites. You understand? They are wicked wine. And the kings of the earth, these other nations. And the rulers of the other nations have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. This talking, this could only be talking about America. Everybody else do trade with America. Everybody trading with America, back and forth. America is a corporation. It says, and I heard, and I heard another voice come, another voice from heaven say. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her plagues, and that ye receive not of her sins. This ain't talking about. This ain't talking about flee out of America. This this talking about a chariot come because Revelation 11 verse 12. Same thing. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up in and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. You understand? So that is what I was talking about. That voice. That voice. They heard they heard that voice saying, Come up hither. Because they're going to have a big so-called chariot, um, so like, yeah, so-called UFO, which really is IFOs in the Bible, telling them to, to come up, come up here, and, uh, and they, will be, they, will, uh, they will get beamed up, the elect out of the nation of Israel. So that's what I was talking about. So going back, Verse 5, Revelation 18, verse 5. For her sins, America's sins have reached unto heaven. Climb quite up. The Most High can even count it on you wherever. And the Most High, Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, not God, not um, Allah, not fucking Jehovah, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have remembered her iniquities. Yeah, he forget all the fucking weapons they do to Jake. The Holocaust, the real Holocaust they do to the Gadites, which is the North American Indians, the Taino Indians, so-called Taino Indians, which is the Puerto Ricans, which is Ephraim, and the, all the other tribes, you kill them out. Most I forget the weapons upon Judah, Benjamin, Levi, when they bring them over here from West Africa. It says, reward her, reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she had filled, fill unto her double. So, hey, when we get you crackers, when we get you Edomites in slavery, all we do we, most I say to do all your double. Most I here to do all your double twice, twice as much as what you're doing. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. Whoo wee! The pride of America is hey, we is the most unstoppable things in the face of the earth. Most I say, just so when you do that, just so when you was doing that, you go and do. Give, give, he will give 
that monk had pride in destruction for lack of better wood. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, because she t she in one thought is that she just go and rule forever. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. There the, the, that fire again. Well, Baruch was talking about. And Baruch is part of the Old Testament. Right, utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke when they shall see the smoke of her burning. So all these new stations all around the world, all these satellites up in space. Why it up there? Because now, now the whole entire world going to be burning with fire. Just America and so not other parts of the world. When all these nations, Russia being the head, and these other nations who team up with Russia, shoot on America. The people and them who live deliciously off of America, who America was in league with, they will be watching on the news that eh? America has just been destroyed. Everybody been burned up. It had people burned. Years, um, millions and millions of people been dead. Scripture says, "Strong is the Lord who judgeth her." Standing afar off and fear, for the fear of her torment, saying, "Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city." For in one hour is thy judgment come. So in one fucking hour, America gonna be destroyed. It take what five hundred plus years to build, and in one hour, showing you how powerful Yahweh why Yahweh Shai is. He gonna take just one hour to destroy, it. just one literal hour in a wee time. Wow. That is how powerful he is. Oh, the fire. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that is there? Thirty-four. Isaiah 34 verse 1 It says Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people Let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it For the indignation which means righteous anger of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies He had utterly destroyed them He had delivered them to the slaughter their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of the carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and all under heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, and as the leaf falleth from the vine, and as the falling fig from the fig tree, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to the judgment. Now let me read it over. Starting going back from verse 3. It says, They are slain, I mean the death, the death of all the fucking people on them, shall be cast out and also shall be cast out and they stink when all of them dead shall come up out of the of, of their carcasses and the mountains the carcasses of the dead bodies and their mountains shall be melted with their blood and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved 
and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Now, what did, what are what are referring to? The mushroom cloud. That is the mushroom cloud. When a nuclear missile drop, because that is Isaiah 54 verse 16. It says, "Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire." And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, I have created the waste that to destroy. He created. What are I talking about? The nuclear missiles. I read it over. Behold, he created the smith. The smith is the is the um the German engineers, the German scientists and them. He put his spirit on them to do to make them nukes and them all over the world satan too don't think um what america have what russia have you understand that blow the coals in the fire and that bring it forth an instrument for his work that instrument for his work that instrument for his work is the icbm missiles and I have created the waste that I destroy. The waste that I destroy is the ICBM missiles. That is the waste that they go and destroy. Burn America with fire. That is where the fire go and come from. Also, when the Lord Yahweh shall come back to, that will be fire there too. Because he say I am come to send fire on earth, but what will I if it already be kindled? But find that in Luke the 12th chapter. Well, jumping back here you now, in Isaiah 34, it says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Why is he sword? Them, them nukes. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, Edom. Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. So, hey, that is how the most I go and get you fucking devils. That is how we go and get you devils. These um second is just chapter 16. 16. Um verse 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon. And Asia will be unto the Egypt and As and Syria. Gird up your loins, the slack yeah. Gird up yourselves with sackcloth. Gird up, gird up your, gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. This coming, this is prophecy. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Who want to turn it back? Nobody. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Who won't quench it? Nobody. Plagues are sent unto you, and who and what is he that may drive them away? Who won't drive them away? Nobody, because it's God who sent it. God who sanctioned it. That time reach. May a man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? No. Or may one, may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it had begun to burn? No. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. That arrow that is shot of a strong archer is the ICBM nuclear missiles. Who want to turn it back? America had a missile defense system, but the Most High, when I put he, His Spirit, because the scripture say He's a consuming fire. I'm going to get here quick. Um, this is Deuteronomy 4. Right, Jeremy 4 and 24. It says, For your power, thy power, is a consuming fire, 
even a jealous power. No, he is a consuming fire. When you're consuming something, you just eat it up. Consume it. That is the power he is.